Okay, so this is the RC Explorer bicopter. A bicopter, what is that? Yeah, you have two props and then you have two servos. And this is what you do to control pitch. And if you want jaw, you just go in opposite directions. It's really cool because it uses the body and the center of gravity to control where it goes. So the battery goes on the bottom. You have to move it around to get the CG really, really good. And you balance it by holding the middle of the arm. And make sure that you have the motors pointing straight up because if you tilt it forward, it pitches forward. Look at that, how cool is that? It actually flies pretty darn good for just using the stock beta flight code, which doesn't really handle servos that well. It doesn't like going backwards. You can get into some situation where it really freaks out. I can show you a wig out. If I hover it normally and I'll go backwards stick, like that. It freaks out, but it recovers. And I hope we can fix that by working together and modifying the code and getting feedback. Because this is a project that uh, I made with the community in mind. I can just make it fly good to start with, and then we can enhance it from that. As you can see, it pitches the body back and forth to control the pitch. And it looks really cool when you fly fast forward. It almost looks like an Osprey. It does move, and it as long as you fly it fast forward, it flies amazingly good actually. But if you get into some really weird angles, it freaks out and it freaks out hard. But as long as you don't freak out, it doesn't fall out of the air. All you have to do is just let it recover on its own. If you fly heavy props, it flies really bad. Like flying these 5x4x3 HQ props, the old kind, that are super lightweight compared to uh, quad props these days that are indestructible. These flies amazing compared to the other one. And I'm not 100% sure why that is. And it's really durable too, because uh, you have that 10 millimeter boom and the body is all carbon fiber. And the servos take pretty good beating now that we have a stainless steel output shaft. I have to say it's uh, pretty darn awesome flying around. I always wanted a bicopter. It looks so freaking cool, especially if you make it the body look like something and this was inspired by the terminator hunter killer and the uh, one of the crafts in uh, r-type the uh, old good old game and the tail sticks out in the back to balance the cg and it works really good actually i'm happy with that ever since i did the avatar gunship it, that thing looked amazing it flew really really bad like we could fly it for 10 seconds no not even 10 seconds i think that was the record but it just looks so cool and they sound cool because you change the the pitch and it makes a noise. But still, I mean, I can fly this around pretty hard. So you just use a standard uh, multi-rotor, uh, the racing quad motors, that's 2300 kV uh, red button Emax motors, and the uh, HQ 5x4x3, the original kind of super lightweight prop. And then we're using the RC Explorer servos, which has a feedback wire, which I hope that we can integrate into the firmware. I fly this in uh, stabilized mode because the pitch axis is actually kind of really, really hard when you fly in an acro mode. Not as hard to fly with these props. It makes a big difference. The tune is vastly different between props and motors and everything. And the weight of the, you have a really heavy battery. That is not good either. Like, so you want to keep it close to these specs then you're gonna have a really good experience from the start. Otherwise, you, yeah, you just tune until it works good. So you can like salvage parts from your uh, crashed race quad because uh, you only need two motors, you know? I do highly recommend getting these servos though. You need something durable. You need something that we know works. Okay. Whoa. That's what happens when you uh, push it a little too hard. It is a lot of fun. That's why I designed it. It was supposed to be fun, looks super cool, and kind of be a challenge. Like you want to tame it and you want to try to make it fly better. And that's why we have a sub forum on the soup forum about the bicopter. There's already a thread on there. Before I even released the bicopter, they started working on it. It's freaking amazing. It's 3D print stuff and like just make test beds and it, oh my gosh, it's community is awesome and that's why we can make cool stuff that's different and we can make it good 
I have to say, so many people are asking about FPV on this thing. I challenge you to put it on there and post a video. So if you're looking for uh, something unique, cool looking, and actually flies, uh, this is available on the RC Explorer store, link below. Click like, subscribe, and share. Hit the bell, Facebook. Thank you.